Hello, it's me again. I'm catching up. <laughs> so I'm going to sign in from Japanese channel. This is my Japanese channel, Snow Sugar. Uh, I realized that I added the wrong newsletter subscription. Uh, what do you call it? URL. <laughs> I think I accidentally added the Japanese form for the previous scope. Sorry. So this this is the title is showing the correct one. This is for the English newsletter. Sorry about the wrong one because I was in 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 rush. I was in a hurry. I I didn't realize it until I typed it in title of this live stream. <laughs> Hello again. Thank you so much each time and inviting follower and sharing tweet. Thank you so so much. I'm gonna do the next topic but still happy happiness automation is Hataraki Gai 2.0 and reason for working. So I want everyone to have a ikigai reason for being at work. So in order to improve your life, Seikatsu Kojo, and I think you you already have a lot of different type of automation app and automation tool. And if you using those type of tool and properly and smart smartly and definitely you're gonna improve your life and work so much better. So if it's not exaggerated and there's a people already set up all the automation system then works only two or four hours a day, then they generate their income and over um, 3,000 to, I heard it, it's like a, between like 3,000 to 12,000, that's the average of the, those type of people, like an internet, a business owner and one person business. Some of yeah, it's like average is like a million dollars in revenue or a little bit more. Something like that. Those things is already happening and so if you most of the people still doubt it, um, because they don't know what's inside of the system. But there's a lot of automation. Can you imagine you know if you a teacher and teaching at school and 30 people and then get salary is the very old type of way of working but now and you can be an online sc school teacher and all the uh, curriculum is recorded so that means you don't have to be physically there to teach then everything is recorded so that means you're not you know, uh, in front of your computer or anything, that's the life you are living in right now. I won't say you don't have to work for the company, but if you don't want to, and you don't have to. So I'm sharing 12 different topics over the 12 weeks and I already finished the six topics and then this week is sevens and happiness automation I'm sharing two items per day yeah okay so I just finished to sharing tweet eyes and who tweet who tweet it's it's really similar to the tool but this is IFTTT if this then that and Japanese marketer is calling IFT I think American used to call IFT as well but I never call this as IFT some people still say if this then that they don't say IFTTT um, 
but I'm calling IFTTT instead of if this then that then if this then that <laughs> this is the automation tool and this is a startup and they started in 2010 it's been seven years now it's now it's very well known when I find found this IFTTT I was doing Dazzle because I was selling my product and custom make like a Dazzle make I think then I wanted to share each my product to Tweet and Facebook but we have a limited um, number of you know spending time for marketing then I found this IFTTT to automation tweet about our Dazzle product. If you go to the IFTTT website, you can find even more different type of automation because this company is getting bigger and now it's like a partner with lots of different company and including Amazon, what do you call that Amazon things? Um, it's like a Google Home, uh, Alexa, right? Alexa, so you can program lots of different things. Not a programming, it's very easy. Uh, what do you call it? Um, trigger, I think. This is a, one of the uh, interesting example if you go to their website and you can see the one of the um, trigger. It's like a turn on your porch lights when the pizza are on, on its way. That's the company called Few, um, partner with IFTTT. I think they, they're just like a, a showing very interesting trigger, but uh, most of the porch light is has a sensor and they don't have to connect it up. I think, <laughs> but this is the one of the example you can set up automation for your home. Um, what I was using IFTTT is more than other than Zazzle. I think when I was looking for some Craig, the item on Craigslist, but I didn't have a time to go to the Craigslist like every day, then I think set up the uh, some keyword it's like RSS feed uh, if hi thanks for coming back um, I'm, I'm explaining about IFTTT do you know about IFTTT so I was looking for the item on clicks list then I set up the trigger with a keyword it's like a for instance is if I'm looking for IKEA table and I know exact name of the table and I just use that as a tag, then if the IFTTT found find some clicks list match to the my search tag, it's automatically send me the email. But I think clicks list already have that feature, so I don't have to have IFTTT a trigger. But it's kind of like one of the examples you could do it. There's so many things you can do. It's now it's too many. I found this site as three years ago. And also you can create your trigger as well. But I, <laughs> I always download in the video uh, for of. Uh, Periscope after I finish this live streaming, but those trigger is not available on IFTTT. <laughs> that's real sad because that's a little, that's time consuming, and I wish I could do everything with automation. Never heard of it. You don't use quick uh, click list. <laughs> click list is sometimes has a you know bad news and if whenever it comes out the bad news and people kind of turn it off right never heard it. okay 
very interesting side because I love technology and I was fascinated and I was I created lots of trigger <laughs> to make everything is automation automate. Ideally, if I wanted to create the trigger in IFTTT or next one I'm going to share it, I'll be really happy. Um, like uh, downloading the video uh, right after I finish the live streaming, then uploading on YouTube automatically. <laughs> that would be, you know, saving so much time for me. And same time, it's so scary, right? <laughs> Because I'm using OBS right now and Open Open Broadcast Studio software, um, I have to click the uh, Start Streaming button. But after I finish live, I have to stop streaming. But sometimes I forgot. I'm gl you know I'm so glad I didn't connect it my camera because if it's broadcasting everything that would be really scary <laughs> I have to be careful on that okay next one is very similar to IFTTT and this is called Zapier I you know I picked the their old logo again because everybody's tend to use one color and simpler. Zapier also have a all black logo. Now it's all orange. Used to used to be like a combination of orange and gray. Zapier would be easier to remember because zap means kind of like a trigger to connect in to things together. Zapier. This company is also new but it's growing rapidly. Startup world is so interesting because some, you know, if they become a famous, it's growing so fast because they funded so much money. Then you know, Spotify is going to be IPO, right? Anyway, Zapier is doing a little bit different than IFTTT. It's more little, because IFTTT, you can do like a one task to trigger. For instance, like if you find something eBay, then e email you, that's IFTTT. But Zapier is, can, you can set up the automation, it's a little bit comp complex. For instance, it's like a MailChimp, that's the e newsletter software, like a mail, what do you call it? Uh, email marketing software that's what I use right now uh, but I'm exceeding the limit for free uh, 2,000 subscriber so this is example is connecting to MailChimp to word word no not a word wave the wave app is for the bookkeeping software it's integrate to MailChimp and wave connected because the bookkeeping software is connecting to the payment system, so which means getting customers' information like name and email. Then that goes to e Mailchimp automatically. So that means if you set up the automation emails right after they purchase something, they started to receiving email. It's like a very famous one. Is auto respond our responder is thank you mail or welcome mail but now MailChimp has a email series so if I set up 10 or 20 emails like every three days it's automatically sending to the customer every two or three days so that's what are you gonna get I think if you sign up for the new setup <laughs> So that means, you know, you can, sh you know, it's not educated, like you, you're going to learn about the snow sugar like every two or three days. So that means we can share lots of story to 
the customer or people who are interested in about snow sugar video. That's the two tool I'm sharing this topic. Then this is the Puchi Japanese lesson. It's much easier than <laughs> previous one. Just one word. But it's not easy <laughs> because integration is they already using integration, like a katakana integration. I never used this Japanese before, Seigo. That's their translation at the, in a dictionary, Japanese dictionary. That would be really difficult for Japanese people because they don't even, probably, you know, oh, I am the only one that don't know about Seigo. <laughs> but uh, I th assume the, the Seigo Japanese meaning original meaning and its English integration would be different meaning. I don't think it's the same. That's why they started to using English word as a Japanese, but the pronunciation is different. They, they say integration. The second one is trigger. It's originally meaning, you know, obviously trigger for their gun, right? Or kikkake <laughs> in Japanese. Hikigane, right. Of course you can say it's like a trigger of the gun, but this time a trigger, if you go to the IFTTT, and the FTTT say trigger because you have to set the trigger to integrate for your two apps to connect it. That's the word they use, the trigger. I think that we are using zap instead of trigger. That's why a little confusing because they, if you say trigger, in, Jap in Japanese, they may not understand so if if they don't know about marketing. But here we can understand because we use a trigger as a verb sometimes. It's like a mental mental trigger, or what else? Um, yeah, we use the trigger as a verb already, so that's why English-speaking people would be no problem, even though you you're not you're not in the marketing field. But in Japan, I th assume that it's a bit, little bit difficult. Your comment at the day again? Oh no. Yeah, I think so. Your comment is really delay for the iPhone. I think someone told me if some comment is delaying means um, are you and using Android? Your battery life is full? I think someone mentioned about the uh, if it's comment delay so that means you're in a, um, saving mode like a battery saving mode trigger can Really? Over here is trigger is can be angry? A full battery? Yeah, because you're Android, okay. Hmm. Maybe moody phone. <laughs> or moody moody. Periscope. My Japanese channel account is still 
like a, maybe close to suspension because I still keep receiving the e like a message popping up your account is limited but I send message to Periscope they haven't sent me back hope they are not suspended my account but this English channel should be okay but I don't know what's going on though Trigger means angry? Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe I'll have to research on that. Google it again. Google it Hmm. Interesting. Maybe sung. The trigger in Japan is like a speaking. Like a regular term of the word means kikkake. Do you remember the kikkake? It's not the uh, negative word meaning or anything. Kikkake is like uh, what makes you. Yeah, because trigger is for the gun, so sounds like a kikake, K I K A T T E. Kikake. It's like a, I think I use a kikake for asking around people, why did you start? What was the trigger to? That doesn't, doesn't say trigger though. What was the trigger to start? Trigger to do periscope? That sounds weird though. What makes you to start? Yeah, when someone say mental trigger, is that yeah, doesn't sounds like a very positive type of word. Your comment is delayed again. So I noticed that the previous scope I typed wrong. <laughs> right, right, that's right. Feels like traveling if, if you're watching lots of periscope. Oh, really? How could, how could that be possible? <laughs> they are not interested in traveling to other world? Probably like my hometown. You know, people like, I want to stay here forever. I don't want to go anywhere. I was outsider, I would say. So anyway, this... Uh, the newsletter URL is correct. But the previous one was wrong, but that was for Japanese. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't realize it until I typed it in. You like that? So, have you ever traveled to any other country or... Oh, no? 
because you never that's kind of interesting though because like, if you try to something new and you don't know anyone who you know try that new stuff it's kind of scare you right For me, it's that you know I didn't care because I didn't I didn't know anyone who lived in out of Japan, like in my hometown. <laughs> Even in Tokyo, I didn't have any friend who lived in U.S. I didn't even come to New York City before I <laughs> came. I was thinking about, you know, my feeling the other day. Why did I come here even though I never came to New York? Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Now it's time. Now it's time to come to Japan. Maybe Japan forest, forest, right? <laughs> Not go to Tokyo or Kyoto. Maybe go to like like my hometown type of. Or maybe Hokkaido. I don't know where the forest in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fun, right? You know, if it's like a totally different type of environment, get scared. But it's similar environment, you feel comfortable. <laughs> Bring the canvas tent. Yeah, that'd be interesting, don't you think? That that would be perfect for my, you know, hometown. Some of the area is no one live. <laughs> my parents' house used to be no neighbor, <laughs> but now, new, you know, when I got back ten years ago, I saw the house near there. But it used to be when I <laughs> when I grew up, there's no neighbors. Like, we are the only house, you know. That was interesting, though, because I hear only the frogs. Do you know the sound of the frogs? All the summertime, because no one is around us. We didn't even need to lock our house because no one is around. <laughs> Maybe you can search the Zao Mountain, that's the near our house. Zao Mountain. <laughs> yes, definitely. I was a completely outsider. Most of the people think I'm crazy. Well, that's that's why my parents never visit here because they don't they're not interested in you know <laughs> traveling to United States. Sometimes so people is like a brainwashed because New York is the most dangerous city in the world. I you know I don't have to go there and I don't want to travel that kind of stuff right yeah okay to be crazy yeah crazy is the uh, new crazy <laughs> I think. okay this is the today's quote things grow stronger when you integrate that's different meaning of integrate but this is interesting things grow 
stronger when you integrate. Maybe integrating two different culture, or yeah, obviously I'm you know integrating two different culture like Japanese and I was in New York because some of the other people outside of New York say New York is not typical American, typical America. <laughs> Symptoms also hate New York. Oh, too bad. But do you know, uh, the, uh, sometimes the people, there's a kind of Japanese comedy, not a comedy, rakugo. Do you know rakugo? Like a very traditional, it's kind of comedy, but a very traditional way. And the people who are wearing kimono, they're saying something funny. Uh, the one of the rakugo said because they know the you know very delicious and good food, but they don't want everyone to touch it, and they say this food is so poison, this this food is so awful, you should not eat it. Like you know, they said everyone, so everybody brainwashed that food is nasty and doesn't taste good. Um, that's brainwashed, right? Then they never touch the food because they think that that food is very nasty, but actually this is very good and <laughs> very tasty. People, you know, tricking everybody's mind. Probably in inter internet business is similar things because most of the people think that internet business is not um, interesting because they assumed that's not easy to make money that way. A cartoon comedy? What do you call it? <laughs> Maybe symptom. Even they like New York, but they don't want to say that they love New York. Especially parents when they, you know, teaching some kids, oh, this. Please do not touch this food because this is not good for your health or not good for your brain. But that's really tasty for them. So they trick them, kids mind. But I'm sharing lots of resourceful information to it's through in my newsletter. <laughs> Just Homer, okay. Probably he had a bad experience. There's a lot, you know, few bad people like stealing wallet or you know, um, trying to charge more money. Of course, those type of people in all the diff each different like. A, um, popular city for travel, so you have to be careful. The people who lived in New York City is like, yeah, ma many of them is very busy, so that's why they try not to be rude, but it sometimes ended up being so rude. <laughs> but if you have a great energy and, you know, being positive, you can avoid those type of people. I think that's my policy. But should it be fun just traveling and living for a long time? Maybe crazy. <laughs> But a great place for the old people because you can access everything is so close and valiantly and a lot of places and you know you can um, live in wheelchair <laughs> very popular for the seniors because access everything can be delivered <laughs> 
but you need to have a lot of money to live in New York City. That's for sure. Yeah, let's make a lot of money for the internet business, then you travel to Japan someday or soon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Based in a lot of different places, should be fun. But, it's, you know, and if you travel to different city, it's sometimes you need to get sick because you never taste that food before. Even, you know, doesn't mean, um, you know, the, like, intoxicated or <laughs> something. It's just like um, your body is react for this something new, especially the w water, I think, because Japan water and U.S. water is different. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> I think America is hot water and Japan is soft water, something like that. And Japan is humid, extremely humid. Sometimes makes hum humidity is makes you people so tired. That's right. You're still young. You can do it. Then you can taste different type of Japanese um, snacks <laughs> or ramen noodle. Oh, did you? Uh, do you know the Japanese comic book called Jump? That's a very famous comic book for a long time. It, it's 50 years, 5 0. They open in a shop, I think. They, you, you can, if you go there, you can read their manga for 50 years of Jump. That's very amazing, I think. <laughs> How many days you can spend to be the whole, the whole thing. One of my friends, the college classmate's friend, is also a manga artist and who used to write, you know, write for Jump, that's a, one of Japanese. Very famous comic book. Not a comic book? A magazine, we would say. Because there's a lot of manga magazine in Japan. You're gonna be amazed. So many manga magazine. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming for two different scopes. Yeah, the read manga. The company is exists uh, for fifty years, so they, I think, digitalized all the manga, and uh, for fifty years. Because I don't think they can store all fifty magazines, fifty f magazine for fifty years, but they digitalized and available to read manga at the shop. That's very amazing. I don't know Pikachu is which magazine. Maybe Pikachu is Koro Koro Comic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Matane. I think comment is really delay, I think. <laughs> Arigatou.